Gratitude to YouTube. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. Okay, I've had a lot of subscribers ask about painting videos. Here's one for you. This is a, a house that uh, the homeowner is putting up for sale. Okay, so <clears throat> I've already caulked along there, removed the mirror. So you can see that's the original paint and that's what it was painted. And the realtor basically told the homeowner, you know, here's your punch list. This is what we think uh, will help sell the house faster. Okay. And caulked everything here. As you can see, I always tape everything up. It does have a popcorn ceiling. So I'm going to freehand that, that cut in line. And I've got everything here taped up because I didn't want to take out every individual screw every you know for this towel rack area. So I just taped everything up and then I can paint it. And remember, this is a house that's going up for sale. Okay, so they're just getting it ready, cleaning it up, and painting it. And of course, I've got to change all the hardware, all the lights in three bathrooms, all the toilet holder, uh, toilet paper holders, and all the towel holders. So that's what all this is about right here. Okay, it's a complete replacement of the old brass. You know, that's old school. And they're going to a, uh, uh, basically, a, uh, like a platinum brushed nickel. Okay, so all I had to do in here was make the replacements, which I did. Okay, so that's the brushed nickel. That's the new brush nickel and brush nickel. Okay, so then I just caulked the bathroom floor, caulked around the toilet. <coughs> okay, so this bathroom was easy because I just had to do basically caulking and hardware replacement. Here's all the other stuff I gotta put all back. There's the mirror for the bathroom. All right, that's bathroom number one. Now down here, there's a little bit more involved. First thing I did, I replaced that ceiling fan from the old, this house had old brass. And uh, as you can tell, everything is brass. They're not gonna change out the locks and the hinges and the doorknobs. I suggested they should, because we're doing just about everything else, it seems like. All right. So that was remove, replace, <clears throat> excuse me, early in the morning. And there, and I'm keeping, of course, I'm not going to keep it, but there's the entire set, uh, chandelier, ceiling fan, and three bathrooms of lights, towel rack holders, toilet paper holders, and, uh, you know, all the hardware is right there, okay? And I just organized it. Made it, you know, where they can, and everything is there. So that's a complete set of the old stuff. Then I replaced this chandelier. Of course, the homeowner didn't have the right bulbs, or yeah, didn't have the right bulbs. So we had to. Uh, he's going out to get me some bulbs for it. It didn't come with the factory uh, packing. Now, I'm supposed to paint this kitchen, but the only problem with that is I won't be able to do it this week because. The homeowners elected to replace all the countertops, okay, to granite, and all the appliances are going to be uh, stainless steel, okay? That was another thing the realtor suggested. Plus, this house didn't have any doorknobs or knobs for all the cabinetry. So I put on 14 of these knobs. Um, the kitchen. And these are a little bit different because you got two thicknesses right here, right? In fact, I got to vacuum out all that stuff. There's all my shavings right there. But you drill a pilot hole through the back, put your screw inside of it, and then because they're only so long, and so it'll catch the threads in here. So that's how I did. So I've got to I got to vacuum that out. I forgot yesterday. But there's all the hardware. So when they uh, put the countertops in, then I'm going to come back and paint the kitchen. Okay, but that's going to be a week from now. That was only delay here in this particular part of the project. 
and then of course this bathroom is all staged ready to go. In fact, I'm coming in here to paint this, get this green out of here. And you can see I pulled every, I stripped everything because I got to replace everything. So you might as well go ahead and pull everything off, and uh, everything is going to be replaced. See, everything has been removed, towel rack, and uh, we're going to paint this place out. Now the realtor selected a skin tone, which uh, should look real good. Okay, there we go. All right, now. As far as actually showing you guys uh, a painting process, I'm not going to do that because uh, I think there's enough people, enough of you guys out there already know how to paint. Whether you freehand, you roll it, you tape, you don't tape. Totally up to you, whatever you decide you want to do, whatever suits your, you know, the way you, your style. But uh, painting is pretty straightforward stuff as far as I'm concerned because I've been doing it for so long. But the thing that you run into here is when you estimate, you know, what do I charge for a job like this? You know, I spent six hours just replacing uh, old hardware, okay, and I've still got more to go. Uh, then I've got uh, both bathrooms that have to be prepped out, and then change all the hardware, paint it, and change all the hardware to the new hardware. So when you look at it, how fast can you do it? Now, I told a guy I can knock most of this stuff out in two days which I'm more than halfway done now. If I can get both these bathrooms painted, say, by 2 o'clock this afternoon, or 3 at the worst, it's latex, it'll dry fast. So then I can go immediately and strip all my uh, tape off and put up the hardware, and I'm done. And, and that's it. Because, all, the, like I said, uh, I spent the majority of the time doing hardware yesterday, knobs, you know, light ceiling fans, things of that nature. So that's the way I... You know, view this. Can I do this in two days? And you know, I'm going to push it. I have seven and a half hours invested in it yesterday, and I'll probably have eight to nine hours invested today. In fact, the homeowner's going to come home at six. I should still be here, and hopefully, I'll be right at the end done. I'll get my final check for this job, and it'll be over with. And then I'll wait for him to call me back on the kitchen. Okay, and you guys know what to do now. Depending on what I charge is what I charge per day. So for you guys, you've got to figure that out. That's probably the message here, okay? Learning how to figure out how to how to how to estimate something like this, you know. And this is a, like I said, this is not a rental get ready. This is a house going up for sale. Okay? Cool. I'll see you guys on another video. You know what to do. Uh, leave those comments, thumbs up, subscribe, and also send a link to your friends. Tom out of here. Bye. Painting.